Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Valentine's Day. That's why I'm sitting here with these gorgeous flowers, not from Jack. <laughs> okay, so I vlogged this whole morning because I didn't do like the little intro part. So I'm gonna back up a little bit and take you through the morning to when I got these flowers. Yeah. All right, tell me your first thoughts. Look at me. Very you. Very me. Very you. <laughs> I didn't record his initial reaction, guys, when he first saw it. He was like, what in the world? And then I'm, no, he wasn't mad, but I made him wait to open it. It's what you do. Even more you. I know. <laughs> it's the most extra part. Valentine's card card after. Yeah, that's actually your birthday card tomorrow. Let's see it. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're reacting right now. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> I have never met a man who loves hot dogs as much as you. No, it's just it says, I got that dog in me. Oh, you gotta send that to Chun. I will. Chun's his best friend. Oh my goodness. And try it on. Let's see. Perfect. It's actually perfect. Oh. And for breakfast, Jack made me the cutest. Best brekkie ever. I love the detailed turkey bacon hearts and the eggs. And yeah, yum. <laughs> I am actually crying right now. So we get packages at the door. Everyone thinks the flowers are from Marissa. They're not from Marissa. Not for me. <laughs> okay, James is getting a groomsman suit. The most random things this Valentine's Day. I open it, I'm like, wow, Jack sent me some cute flowers. Where's the card? Not even Jack. My sweet father gets me roses. What the heck? Everyone's laughing. Can you see that? We can see them. Yeah, You're not so laughing? Recording, you recording me or did you flip it? I flipped it to you. <laughs> uh, I've got a hundred green greens that's so weird. So cute. I don't have anything. Everyone thought down. this was Jack. You don't oh, have anything? Green. So do you think it won't You fit? got nothing? Oh no, it's not going to fit at all. Like, I really can't. This was so sweet. All I need is love not Jack, just my dad. Like the number one OG dad. Oh. Father. Father dearest. It's actually not at all. <laughs> These are the flowers. So sweet. I love the vase. And my dad wrote me a message. Love you, dad. Number one dude. So Jack drove me to work this morning because there was so much snow on top of my car and I was going to be late if I did it all, whatever. He ended up being late to work and he fell. His, tail bro his tailbone is bruised, as he says. But it's okay. We're fine this Valentine's Day. Now we are on a mission to go get a heart-shaped pizza. And Jack also says that he has some things Land. I don't know what that entails, but here we go. This is his Valentine's outfit, and it's hideous. It's actually awful. Those are the house shoes. I really can't, Jack. I don't know you. <laughs> So we got our heart-shaped pizza, and then after that, Jack took me home and he says, all right, throw on a workout outfit, something cute, nothing crazy, and we're going, we have to be somewhere at 6.15. So he surprises me with a dance lesson for our first dance. So we're gonna start taking lessons for our wedding. I'm so excited, I got a rose. I feel like I'm on The Bachelor. We accept this rose. That's how I felt when they handed it to me. Does they anyone were, ballroom dance? Any of your followers? I don't know. Yeah, do you guys ballroom dance? Because this is 
What did we learn we today? We think it might be fun. Like we might keep Yeah, going. we want to like do more of this. Um, we learned basic spins or basic yeah. like twirls. Um, and then we learned what we did, like a salsa warm-up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then the first dance we did was promenade. Mm -hmm. um, and then the one where we spin to get, we, we span a bunch. Yeah. Span, is that a word? Spun. 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 And then <laughs> we did that while we integrated the spins into the promenade. And then we did a little basic swing dance and it, uh, integrated the spins into that. So... It we was were gonna so do fun. a. We were gonna learn a dip, but I told them it'll have to be next time. Oh my time gosh, y'all! I'm gonna show them the video. <laughs> yeah. So this morning on the way to work, Jack fell. I think I just mentioned this, but I just screen recorded the video of him falling, and yeah, so him falling is the reason we couldn't dip today at our lesson. Thank you. This is so nice of you too. Um, but the package he got was like two lessons and then a group lesson. So we're going to keep doing it. We have another lesson scheduled and we told him what our first dance song is going to be. So he like started playing it. We were like dancing a little bit to that. And yeah, is he going to like choreograph something for us for our, for our first dance? That'd be kind of cool if he could do that because I don't know, guys, I'm just honestly like I'm not a dancing queen. I'm not really that skilled. Oakley can, did, did, you, did you not know we're vlogging Oaks? I really could use all the help in the dancing department. And honestly, it was just a fun date. It was perfectly scheduled for Valentine's Day. And Jack actually scheduled this like a month ago and he had gotten this phone call and I was like, who are you on the phone with? And he just kind of brushed it off. He's like, you'll find out in a month. But I didn't put two and two together that it would be for Valentine's Day. And so, yeah, our first ever dance lesson complete. So it's now Thursday and it's like 11 a.m. And I'm not at work simply because we had quite the night and not in the way you'd think so. So it's today's Jack's 30th birthday. But when we went home, came home from our dance lesson, Jack's lower back, like his tailbone area, like the pain became increasingly worse. This is like after his whole fall on the ice. So we spent four-ish, four and a half hours in the emergency room last night and he got an x-ray and did all the things. And thankfully it is not bruised or it is bruised, but it's not broken. And so it took a long time because we didn't get in until like 11 and then came home like super late after that. Um, so obviously they had to like call staff in and which we kind of felt bad about, but I mean, it was really painful. Like he couldn't even really walk. So quite the way to ring in his 30th birthday. Um, so he is ordered by the doctor to not work or lift anything for two days and through the rest of the weekend. And because I didn't get home till like three, four in the morning, I texted my boss, I was like, I'm taking a half day. So sorry, like I was so tired. So I did, we are just now eating breakfast. I feel like my meal schedule is all thrown off, but it's okay. I'm spending our 30th, his 30th with my honey. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling a little better. It's still pretty stiff, but yet not anything compared to yesterday. They asked, um, you know, on a scale of one to 10 where my pain was, and I told them it was a nine. So it was, Jenna was there, she was very helpful, but it was some pretty bad pain. No one could have predicted this, but yeah, we're just getting ready. <laughs> Hopefully this will just be a small memory of our of his 30th birthday, but okay, let's get ready, let's get into work. Jack's gonna rest the rest of the day, and then I think we're making some like chicken teriyaki sort of dinner for tonight. It is now the second day this week that it's snowed. It is like so pretty in this very moment when it's snowing and looks like this, but then like the aftermath is actually awful. Like when it turns into black ice and I'm just still not used to that. So yeah, here I am, Florida girl complaining, wishing she was still in Florida. I feel like this is gonna be me all winter, but hopefully this is like the last big snow. I just, I just am ready for it to be over. It's actually been about a whole day, but I just wanted to show you guys the snow did melt. So uh, it's getting better here in the Hudson Valley. My phone is like flipped the opposite way. I feel like my head's like turning this way because I'm so used to looking that way. Okay, anyways, not your problem. So today is Sunday and it's Jack's 30th birthday celebration. We are going to the city. We're going to our favorite restaurant, Patricia's. I've vlogged it time and time again. So we are celebrating his 30th birthday the only way we know how. 
at our favorite restaurant. So it's a huge Italian style restaurant. It's in Brooklyn. We're taking all the Hellcats. Some of my family's coming, like Uncle Dom's gonna be there. My Aunt Thalia, my cousin Angela, Rachel, like all of them are coming. And then add in plus like 15 other people from the Hellcats. Like when we sent this invite out, we're like, hey, everyone come on. They are showing up, like everyone is coming. I think only one couple said they couldn't go. And then my boss and his wife couldn't go. But aside from them, literally everyone's coming. So it's gonna be a really, really fun night. We are driving there with Katie, Nick and Jill. So let's go. All right, guys, we are freezing our ass off right now. <laughs> Everyone's back there. Jill and I are on a mission, yep, to get there. We hang with the people who are willing to walk, and that is us. Everyone else? Oh, Katie, she came. Where, did she just run? <laughs> Jill killed it driving us to the city. Our fearless driver. And Parker, yeah, I am not properly dressed. I thought wearing high boots like this would be fine. I'm wearing thick socks. Not good, not good. And this girl has no sweater. My eyes are like tearing up. My eye, I literally look like I'm crying. It's Monday, so you just saw Jack's birthday celebration. It was so fun. Everyone showed up, and we're just feeling so loved. I mean, this his birthday kind of started off hot, as you saw in the beginning of the vlog, with him having to go to the ER and, you know, deal with his bruised tailbone. He's still, he's still kind of recovering from that. Obviously, it is not something that goes away in a day, but the doctor put him on quarters for just two days, so it was that Thursday, Friday, and then he was officially off quarters on Saturday, Sunday, so I felt like I didn't really make that clear earlier in the video. Like, he was totally good and cleared by the doctor to, like, head to the city, do all of that. I'm just so happy that Jack is starting to feel better. I mean, he took a fall. Like, I know we were laughing about it earlier in this video, and it is a funny video, but, like, it was serious. Like, it, it's really tough, you know, with the snow and when it turned into ice, and, you know, you just have to be, like, extra careful. And us southern people over here, you know, we, we don't think about stuff like that. So, Definitely being extra precautious and just trying to not have that happen again. <laughs> now we are just trying to get back on track for this week. When I say, whoo, we've had a week of food and eating from Florida to this past week. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like my skin, oh my goodness. I am like legit breaking out so bad. And I know it's from the food I'm eating. Like I have never really struggled Thankfully with like acne like this like this has never ever been on my face and I'm, I'm not wearing any makeup But I woke up this morning. I was like jack. Oh my goodness. Like I I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's going on right now My face is just not reacting well and I think it's just from like eating bad and just not we, We've just been so tired this week after flying back in from florida on it was like late monday night We didn't get into like 
12 or 1 a.m. And then, you know, getting through the week a little bit and then Jack taking a fall and us going to the ER and not coming home till like three or four in the morning that next day. I've just, our sleep schedule has been so off and yeah, it's, it's tough. I don't know. Maybe we're just getting older. Jack's 30 now. I'm getting up there too. I don't know what it is. We just, I can't hang like I used to, like I could in college be up all night and none of that would have taken a toll on me. But now I'm just like, geez. And we haven't gone to the gym this week. Obviously Jack hasn't cause he's like literally been quartered for most of it. And then just getting off now and he doesn't want to risk anything. And so understandably so, but I just need to get back on routine. We need to go back to eating well. So yeah, as, as great and wonderful and yummy and chef's kiss the food was for at Patricia's, it's time to get back on my greens. Like I just need to like, I, I just need a nice big bowl of salad or like hearty greens or broccoli, something like that right now. So I told Jack, I was like, we need to have like a nice clean, clean dinner and you know, start fresh. Getting some errands done today. I just got my oil changed. Jack just ran out to do an errand. He had to help my boss with something today. They like needed a truck. And now I just got to get back to cleaning like all my couch covers. We just cleaned them all and they're just in this pile. This is the part I rue most is just having to like put them all back on. Jack took them all off and put them in the washer and dryer. And he can't like I, I don't really want him bending right now because of his back. So it's going to be me having to put it on. And Oakley is just I oh my goodness. Why are you the cutest thing in the world? Guys, I know I'm biased, but I have the cutest little angel right here. Look at this. Um, So she's she's enjoying the raw couch right now you know without the covers but i need to put these on i need to do a load of laundry we need to cook we need to clean a little bit and that's going to be the rest of our night jack and i are tag teaming grocery shopping right now so i'm at sam's going to get all the salad stuff he's at walmart like literally across the street getting some other stuff that we need for the week and then we're going to start meal prepping. I'll probably show you guys what we're doing this week. Because kind of like, not really a detox, but just trying to be a little healthier and feel better about our choices from the past week or so. So time to go get my favorite cucumbers, tomatoes, and what else am I getting here? There's like one more thing. Oh, I can't think about it. Okay, I'm hitting this red light. So I thought I'd just come and tell you guys what I ended up getting. So it was blueberries, chicken. It was cucumbers and tomatoes. So I spent like 29 bucks. Jack's getting the rest of the things we need. We did get ground beef earlier this week. Um, so we're gonna do taco bowls for dinner, which I do want to show you guys because those are amazing. So cheap, so healthy, so yummy. And then we're gonna do set like feta salads for lunch with chickpeas in it. And then I'm gonna have I'm gonna have chicken on the side. Jack's going to have his tuna. Another red light. I love this. Okay, I'm easily able to vlog when I'm hitting these red lights. But yeah, so being able to kind of split up and do one store and one store is just saving us a bunch of time because we were doing so much earlier today. Slash also having a lazy morning. I know that like kind of contradicts itself, but yeah, we woke up, watched and binged a lot of Love is Blind, the new season. And then we got up, I had to take my car in. He had to do a couple things, like I mentioned. And now it's game time. We got to start prepping for the week. I just, I love setting myself up for success with having like my meals all planned out, having them all prepped in bowls. It just makes my life so much easier. And it just helps me stay on like my nutrition goals. So I know when I have everything, I just have to pull it out, warm it up or whatever. I know I'm gonna stick to my goals. So. That's going to be this week. I'm going to vlog it when it's all finished. Okay, I'm hoping everything I got can at least give me six lunches. So really it's three days. Those will be Jack's. These will be mine. Jack got some kale for the salads. I'm starting to prep some stuff, but I don't think I'm going to do the kale of mine. I want mine to be a little bit more Mediterranean. He just wants like a dump load of everything in there. And then we have the fresh uh, tomatoes. I just washed them. They're super clean and yummy. And so I'm going to chop all those up. Jack has the onion and um, the feta and the garbanzo beans. Okay, here is where I'm at with the salad bowls for the week. I'm still missing my red onion and we need the leafy greens, but it's looking good. And now it's time to put the couch covers on. Guys, I just like miss what my couch normally looks like. It's just so pretty. I mean, we were sitting on it and like lounging all morning. So it's like all the pillows are kind of messed up, but I just wish this little one wouldn't make a mess of our couch. 
um, so I could just not have couch covers on it. But the good thing about having the couch covers is that our couch looks brand spanking new. I mean, we've had it since I moved here in June. Jack didn't see it until he came out of boot camp. But I mean, like this couch is spotless. Like I have spilled a couple things on it. Like Oakley has had not an accident, but like, you know, when dogs poop and they do the little wipe the butt thing, she's done that on the couch before. And that was like one of the main reasons why I wanted couch covers was because this little one, <laughs> I mean, look at her, she's like a little person. Um, she's always on here and I personally like don't want to take the couch away from her Like I feel like this home is her home and wherever we are I want her to be I know a lot of other people have different views and that's okay But in our home Oaks is more than welcome on the couch. So, you know, I do want to keep it in good condition and I want this couch to last because it was like definitely more of a splurge of a couch I mean, it wasn't like millions obviously but like or no couch is like really millions. Like no, no one here is buying a couch for a million dollars. But you know, it wasn't like your classic, like grabbed it off Facebook marketplace couch. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. But you know, I bought it brand new. It was in the thousands. So, you know, I just wanted to keep it like nice and fresh. So we're gonna go and put the couch covers back on it. Just clean them. I usually don't take them off that much or I'll just do like a couch cover at a time. Like mainly the ones where we sit on like that side and like, that one that Oakley's on right now. Those are like the two I'll just like quickly take those off, throw it with their laundry. But Jack was like, let's just do the whole shebang. Like, let's take them all off. So let's say goodbye to the nice couch and put the covers back on. Okay, here's the couch with the covers on and Oakley's still on it, classic. I'm gonna link the couch covers in the description box because I've already had people ask me like what brand this is. This is not a brand deal or sponsored or anything like that. So I'll link it if you guys want them. They're nice. They're just annoying to put on. It takes forever. And sometimes I feel like it like rips my nail off because I'm like pulling the sheet part of it. So there's no like, like I don't like this part. Like I just like to pull that so it's like all flat. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. At least it protects the couch. Like see that part looks a little messy, but that is like what I try to go for. So I try to like pull it real tight. So anyways, if you guys want them, uh, my cousin just recently asked me for them. So I'll link it for you guys and let me know if you try them. I just realized I never showed you guys the finished salad. It's Tuesday morning. We're ready to go to work. So I thought I'd pop on and show you guys real quick. So I added the feta on top of the salad. I know I said I wasn't going to do lettuce, but Jack ended up putting it in and I just need to like shake it up. But I put two lemon halves in there and then this is one tablespoon of olive oil. I had leftover of these little things from when we made the jello shots for Thanksgiving for Katie's wedding. So I'm just trying to put them to good use. Normally I would just put them in a container, but we have so many leftover. I'm just going to finish them. These are the feta crumbles we're using. I wish Jack got the fat free ones, but this will do. It's really not that much. A little bit of blueberries, some rice cakes, my coffee, and I do have like an Oikos at work. So I usually will throw the Oikos on top of this. I had like a extra one there. So this is lunch. We're going clean. We're going to feel good today. Oh, and I have a piece of chicken. Let me grab that out. Yes, I ended up putting all the chickens like in to-go baggies. So, okay, boom, that's my lunch. So protein, got some greens, got some carbs, fats, you know, we're doing the thing. Also, as I was getting ready for work this morning, aside from showing you guys my lunch, I wanted to put you guys on my new scent. It's from Dime Beauty, it's Seven Summers. Here's a better look at the bottle. Guys, when I tell you I'm loving this one, I j it's just so good, it smells so sweet, flirty, it's nice, it's light, it doesn't stink up a room when you walk in. Like, do you ever have those like thick perfumes that when you walk in somewhere, you just feel like your scent's lingering? No, it's not that. It just smells so good on. Jack even complimented it today because I, I wore it throughout the weekend and I was waiting for him to notice it. And this morning he was like, oh my goodness, what are you wearing? It smells so good. I just changed up my scent to the Seven Summers one. It is amazing. If you guys want a new perfume or shopping for one that's affordable and not like a million dollars, this will be the one. It comes in like the 1.7 ounce just to give you guys a perspective of how big it is. But what I love about it is that you can travel with it. I wish you guys could smell it through YouTube. It's so hard to describe scents, but it's really clean. It's light, it's summery, it's flirty, it's sweet. Think of those scents and that's seven summer. So I'll have a discount code for you guys, um, as well as this exact one linked in the description box below. I'm so pumped when Dime Beauty sent this over because I just ran out of my other perfume. So it's been really sweet. It's been my new scent. And I think it's gonna become like my Jenna scent. 
Now I'm on my way to work. This is the week all of my mom's ring content goes live on the JMark pages. So I'm so excited to see how our customers love it. Um, it's my mom's engagement ring that we remade. I've been featuring it in a couple vlogs here on this YouTube channel. So yeah, I'm pumped. It's like a three part series. We just released one yesterday for Monday. Today is the second one of like how we made it. And then tomorrow is gonna be like the, like the taking the ring from um, New York to Florida. So like I did like a little bunch of clips and stuff until it got to like the Florida palm trees. So I'm so excited. Oh, I feel naked without wearing a necklace right now. I like to, when I'm working, I like to not wear my personal jewelry and I like to wear J Mark stuff just because sometimes customers will be like, oh my God, I love that. And it's because I'm literally wearing it. So gotta go throw on a necklace at work. Obviously I'll wear my own engagement ring and these little huggies, but I like to wear earrings or like things that we can like easily make at J Mark. So people aren't, cause people always ask me like, did you get your ring at J Mark? And I'm like, no, I got it before I started working here, but we are doing our wedding bands at J Mark, of course. Okay, I mentioned the taco bowls, the walking taco bowls earlier in the vlog. And this is them, shredded lettuce. We got queso, we have Greek yogurt. Then we have ground beef, rice, and red enchilada sauce. And that's that, but the finishing touch, show them. Thank you. Look, Jack is so mad that I'm vlogging this right now because he just wants to eat. It's the lime siete, siete um, tortilla chips. And you just crush them. That crunch. I actually forgot to tell you guys, there's also refried beans in here, fat-free. That's the key. But yeah, this is what it looks like, more mixed in. Hey, hey mom. <laughs> what you doing? I was sitting here with Jenna. Just hanging out with Jenna. You say I'm weird. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> you say I'm different. I got a cold. Huh? I have a cold. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's hitting me pretty hard. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of trick are you playing on me? <laughs> I ate some helium out of a balloon. <laughs> I can't right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. I told him not to do it. <laughs> I said, do That's not suck funny. the helium out of the balloon. What's he doing? Sucking the helium out of the balloon. Boys. Now I'm just gonna finish some editing, ending the night off strong, and then we're gonna watch American Idol. We have been binging a lot of shows lately, but anyways, as I'm editing, I just got to this part of the beginning and this just cracks me up every single time i watch it like the whole beginning of this vlog with jack opening his present with his i got that dog in me shirt and he's been wearing it a lot just so cute so funny such a pure moment of happiness anyways i'm gonna end this vlog because i got lots of editing to do i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week thank you all for supporting the channel being here watching every wednesday all the comments i love talking to you guys so Thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, if you're not already, please, please, please hit that subscribe button down below and I will catch you guys next Wednesday for a new vlog. Bye.